Welcome to Real Estate School. Today, we are going to be discussing prorating expenses at a real estate closing. It's important to understand prorations. This is a common question you're going to see on your real estate licensing exam. So let's get started. First, what does it mean when you hear the word proration? Well, most closings involve the division of financial responsibility between the buyer and the seller for such items as loan interest, taxes, rents, fuel, and utility bills. These allowances are allocated between the parties in the required proportions or prorations. Prorations are necessary to ensure that expenses and credits are divided fairly between the seller and the buyer. It is very important to understand prorations. Not only will you more than likely see a proration problem on your licensing exam, but more importantly, you need to understand prorations in order to ensure that numbers add up for your clients. A tip to remember when figuring prorations is that the person who uses it needs to pay for it. When it comes to prorating items like real estate taxes, these numbers needed to be prorated to the day of closing. So that brings up the question, who pays for the day of closing? In most states, the seller owns the property on the day of closing, and prorations or apportionments are usually made up to and including the day of closing. A few states specify that the buyer owns the property on the closing date. In that case, Adjustments are made as of the day preceding the day on which the title is closed. Two terms associated with prorations to be very familiar with. Accrued items and prepaid items. Accrued items are expenses to be prorated, such as water bills and interest on an assumed mortgage, that are owed by the seller but will be paid after the sale by the buyer. The seller pays for these items by giving the buyer credits for them at the closing. Prepaid items are expenses to be prorated, such as fuel oil in a tank that have been prepaid by the seller but not fully used up, so they become credits to the seller. Debits to the buyer, credits to the seller. The computation of prorations involves identifying a yearly charge for the item to be prorated then dividing by 12 to determine the monthly charge for the item. Also, it is usually necessary to identify a daily charge for the item by dividing the monthly charge by the number of days in the month. These smaller portions are then multiplied by the number of months or days in the prorated period to determine the accrued or unearned amount that will be figured into the settlement. Using this general principle, there are two methods of calculating a proration. Never one method of doing things, always two different methods of doing things. The first method, the yearly charge, is divided by a 360-day year called a banking or statutory year, or 12 months of 30 days each. It's important to recognize the terms banking or statutory. Look for those in a question. If you see those terms, the question is referring to a proration based on a 360-day year or 12 months of 30 days each. The second method of proration is the yearly charge is divided by 365 days, a calendar year, to determine the daily charge. And the actual number of days in the proration period is determined with this number multiplied by the daily charge. So in this problem, look for the term calendar year. A calendar year always means 365 days. The final proration figure will vary slightly depending on which computation method is used. The final figure also will vary according to the number of decimal places to which the division is carried. All the proration calculations we are going to cover are computed by carrying the division to three decimal places, then rounding to the nearest cent only after the final proration figure is determined. Anytime you're dealing with a proration problem, the question you'll need to answer is this is an accrued item or a prepaid item. Will we be figuring from January 1st to the day of closing? 
or would we be figuring from the day of closing to the end of the year? So here's our first question. How much interest will the seller owe the buyer for a closing date of August 10th? If the outstanding loan balance is $250,000, the interest rate on this assumable loan is 4%, and the last payment was paid on August 1st. Prorations are to be done through the day of closing, using a statutory year. Well, this gives us an opportunity to do a mortgage amortization problem. At the same time, we can do a proration. Our loan balance is $250,000. Multiplied by an interest rate of 4% would be $10,000 interest for the year. But we're trying to determine a daily amount. The question does say using a statutory year, which is 360 days. So the annual interest of $10,000 divided by 360 days gives us a daily interest using three decimal places of 27.777. 27 27.777 times 10 days of August equals $277.77. Our next question. The annual tax bill on a home was $2,714 and was paid in December. The home sold the following March and will close on April 23rd. How much will the tax proration be using a calendar year and prorating through the day of closing? Well, in this problem, we note that we're using a calendar year, which is 365 days. The tax bill was paid in December. That was for the prior year. So this is going to be an accrued item, an expense that's built up and yet to be paid. The seller is going to owe from January 1st through the day of closing, which is April 23rd. Using a calendar year, we can figure 31 days for January, 28 days for February, 31 days in March, and since we're prorating through the day of closing, that's 23 days in April. Add the four together for a total of 113 days in the proration period. The tax amount is 2,714 for the year, divided by 365 days in a calendar year, and using three decimal places, we get $7.435. 7.435 times the 113 days in the proration period, the seller will owe the buyer $840.16. On the closing disclosure, this will be $840.16 debit to the seller $840.16 credited to the buyer. That way when the buyer pays their taxes later in the year, the seller would have paid their share.